parasternal long axis, my index marker is pointed towards the patient's right shoulder, towards 11 o'clock. I'm to the left of his midline on his chest. From here to get to my right ventricular inflow track, I'm just gonna angle the transducer inferior and tilt up superior to bring in the right ventricle and right atrium and the tricuspid valve. To move on to parasternal short axis, I'm gonna go back to home base of my parasternal long axis and I'm going to rotate my transducer clockwise in the same position to about two o'clock my index marker is now pointing towards the patient's left shoulder, and I'm just angling anterior towards his head a little bit, slightly to bring that in. From here, to get the short axis of the left ventricle, I'm going to angle the transducer inferior, keeping the location of the transducer in the same place. And I'm gonna to continue to go down so that I get base at papillary muscle, mid, and then apex. For our apical foreview, we're going to go to the patient's left side, underneath the left breast. My index marker is at three o'clock, facing towards the bed. Here we have an overall four chamber. To move to an apical five chamber, all I'm gonna do is rotate the transducer counterclockwise to around two o'clock and angle slightly anterior towards his head. This allows us to get a really good parallel to flow for Doppler interrogation of that aortic valve. To go back to apical four, I'm just gonna rotate my transducer clockwise back to three o'clock and angle the transducer back down inferiorly. From our apical four chamber to rotate into our apical two, I'm going to rotate my transducer counterclockwise towards one o'clock. My index marker is facing that way. And I'm going to angle inferior a little bit to bring in my apical two chamber. From here, to get to an apical three chamber, I'm gonna keep rotating my transducer counterclockwise towards 11 o'clock. And now I have an apical three chamber. For our subcostal view, we're gonna go just below the patient's xidvoid process. Our index marker is gonna be facing three o'clock and you're just gonna angle up. So we have liver on top and a subcostal four chamber on our image now.